Hey everyone, this past week started off with a press conference between President Trump and Vladimir Putin in which Mr Trump fully exonerated the Russian president before claiming he actually meant to say the complete opposite, just like when Theresa May claimed that Brexit meant Brexit. Since then, though, there's been talk about Vladimir Putin potentially visiting the US, ideas thrown around about exchanging people for, quote, questioning. And right now, Sylvester Stallone is finishing up the eighth installment in the Rocky franchise, so maybe he'll make another film where he takes on the Russians again, either in a boxing ring or like that one in Afghanistan with the Mujahideen. There was a lot of horses in that one, actually, and Vladimir Putin does like some horses. I wonder if Sarah Jessica Parker's busy right now. Curiously though, Mr Putin offered up 12 Russian intelligence agents who were recently indicted by Robert Mueller in exchange for human rights activist Bill Browder who they wish to question. No doubt questions like, does this rag cloth smell like chloroform to you Bill? Or perhaps it'll be like that questioning when John Wilkes Booth asked President Lincoln to be quiet during the show. Bill Browder, for those out of the know, is a human rights activist who was largely responsible for the Magnitsky Act, which froze Russian assets in the US and locked them out of the US financial system. His lawyer and accountant was killed by the Kremlin for exposing a $230 million tax fraud involving Russian officials, and frankly his chances of getting a fair trial are slimmer than the malnourished prisoners he'd be living with while he awaited trial. You know, the odds are longer than one of President Trump's ties. In the meantime, though, all the Trump focus has since moved on to a story about secret payments to a former Playboy model. Uh, the president did actually also just make some comments about taxing half a trillion dollars worth of Chinese imports, and that sounds pretty serious, really, but it's nowhere near as salacious as the thing about the Playboy model. So, for now at least, nobody really seems to care. Yeah. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.